Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. Today I'm going to be testing a bunch of different three ingredient three ingredient recipes. I recently saw a video posted by Tasty where they ate three ingredient recipes for 24 hours and I thought that sounded like a fun idea. So I'm going to be testing five different three ingredient recipes in this video. So make sure to keep watching if you want to see which ones are a fail and which ones actually work. Um, I'm going to just get started. I don't really have anything else to say. The first three ingredient recipe I'm going to be testing is the TikTok whipped coffee. I bet you have seen this if you watch TikTok. It's probably been all over your for you page. And it is basically just using instant coffee with sugar and hot water. You whip it and it becomes a fluffy foam that you add on top of the milk of your choice. I'm going to be using almond milk. And then it's supposed to make good coffee. Honestly, I don't really know, but I'm going to test it out today. All you have to do is put equal amounts of instant coffee, sugar, and hot water into a bowl. And I'm going to be using a hand mixer because it's a lot faster. I've seen some people on TikTok talk about them having to whip it for like 30 minutes. I would rather not. So we're going to be using a hand mixer. And I'm going to be doing two tablespoons of each ingredient. And yeah, you just whip it up and add it into some almond milk and that's supposed to make good coffee. I'm gonna get started. I think this should work if it was as popular as it was. It's probably for a reason. So I have high hopes, but we'll see. That was such a bad idea to whip something in such a small bowl, but I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was just thinking that there was a small amount of like content so it wouldn't splatter that much, but I had to cover my hand the whole time. The way that everyone has been eating this was by getting a jar with some ice, adding almond milk, and then the coffee on top. I'm just gonna get a spoon and put it on, I think. So I am going to put my straw in and then everyone mixes it up a little bit, I think. I don't really know, honestly. But, fun fact, I am not a fan of coffee. So I'm not going to be tasting this just because <coughs> it already smells bad. And I have two people in my house right now that do like coffee. So I'm going to go get my brother and he's going to taste it and let us know if it tastes good or not. Just like drink it. Just taste it. It's like it. peanut butter. <laughs> It's good. It is good? Mm-hmm. It's you not like bad. It? Yeah. Would you drink this on your own? Probably not, but it's okay. Okay. So out of ten. Seven. Seven out of ten. Thank you. So now for recipe number two, I'm going to be making potato gnocchi. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, feel free to correct me in the comments because I want to know so I can pronounce it correct from now on. But it is just potatoes, flour, and salt. And I started out by peeling and chopping a potato, put it in some boiling water, and boiled for around 15 minutes until it is tender with a fork. And it's now in a bowl. And I am going to mash it up until it's all like a paste, I guess. Then all I do is add flour, add salt, and then after that, I will tell you what the next steps are. made the gnocchi and it's all in little pieces now and I have some salted water that is boiling and once it is well heating up once it's finished boiling I'm gonna add the mullein to the pot and then I know they 
like boil in the water for a bit and then once they rise up to the top you let them sit there for about 30 more seconds then take them out and i just have some plain marinara sauce to come and eat them with which is not super super exciting but it's what i have so i don't know i'm excited i think they look good and i hope they turn out good It is completely finished and honestly, I am so proud of the way it turned out. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna try it. I think it's gonna taste good though. I'm actually so impressed with this. I would definitely make this again. This was definitely a success and I um, highly recommend this recipe. So for the third recipe, we're going to be making these chocolate peanut butter banana bite things. I've seen these all over Instagram and I've wanted to try them for so long and luckily they're only three ingredients. So all you need is Peanut butter, I mean you can probably tell by the name what the three ingredients are, but I'm still gonna tell you. Peanut butter, a banana, and chocolate chips, which I already started eating. So it's open, but. All that I need to do is cut up my banana into little pieces, put peanut butter in between two pieces, and then dip it in chocolate and freeze it, and there you go. My chocolate peanut butter banana frozen things are finished. I was not able to make them look that pretty. This is my best looking one. So I'm gonna use that for the video. Ah, hurts my teeth. <laughs> but yes, these are definitely a success. The banana is kind of like ice cream. I highly recommend this if you have these three ingredients and tastes very good. So oh, for the next recipe, I am going to be making scones. Sorry if you hear my oven throughout this, it's preheating so it might make some noises. But I do not have much experience with scones. I've had scones once and that was like a month ago. Coming up on two months ago in New York at an Alice in Wonderland themed tea place. And I had two scones and they were mango coconut flavored, I believe. And they were the size of my face and I ate two of them in one day and it was so good. Um, that was the only experience I have in my life with scones. I haven't had any besides that and I've never tried to make any, but I found a three ingredient recipe and I think it sounds good. So I'm gonna try it out. Of course, since it's three ingredients, I can't get super creative with all the different mix-ins or flavors, so it's just gonna be plain. But I bet that if you wanted, you could make this recipe with other add-ins to make it more exciting but for the purpose of the video of course i'm keeping it at three ingredients and i'm pretty excited about this I have two cups of self-rising flour in here next we need sugar and i have some pure cane sugar right here and i'm just going to add in two tablespoons plus one teaspoon and then the third and final ingredient is coconut milk so i have canned coconut milk from trader joe's which is my favorite So I just need one and a half cups of that, which is pretty much the whole can. There's basically nothing left in here. So I'm going to pour this in, but I'm just going to mix this and then roll it out into a eight inch circle, it says, and cut it in eight pieces, put it in the oven, and then brush it with some excess coconut milk, which I don't really have any excess because I'm um, kind of all used. Um, sprinkle with some sugar, put it in the oven, and then you have scones, I guess. That is so easy, I really hope this works. I know this will not be my last time making these if it works out, so I hope that this one works. I was most excited for this out of the whole video, so.
think our oven just broke. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Look at... No! I'm not even joking. I'm about to put the scones in the oven, and I think our oven just broke. He said we'd have to get a new one. Remember, he's been shopping for one. <sighs> Do I have to try Can to squeeze these in the toaster oven? Oh, maybe. So I was, it was preheated to 425, and then I heard a beep. So it completely shut off, and then I pressed bake. Yep. <gasps> oh, wait. Please. Fingers work. crossed. Yeah. Oh, well, now I just, okay. That That's was awesome. It. This is the worst video I've ever made. <laughs> so we've been dealing with a not great oven for a long time now and it finally just broke. I was not even joking. The scones are completely ready. I finally got them to look decent. Brushed them with coconut milk, sprinkled them with sugar, and they're all good. And then I was going to pick up the pan to put them in the oven. The oven decides to break. I have to heat up the toaster oven and then put these onto a smaller pan right now. And then, thank you. So I was able to put six out of the eight scones on here. So I'm gonna put this in the toaster oven. Hope for the best. So they just came out of the oven. I think they look okay. I hope they taste good. I'm gonna let them cool and then we're gonna give them the taste test. I'm also gonna put the final two in the oven because they didn't fit. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping these work out because I went through a lot to get these done, but I think I still have faith. So um, I have all my scones done. They don't look <laughs> fantastic. This is the best looking one. I don't really know how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna hope for the best. So being honest, it kind of doesn't taste like much, but it's also because I didn't add any type of mix-ins or flavorings. So for the final recipe, I'm going to be making three ingredient peanut butter cookies. Also, I am cutting this recipe in half because I just made a ton of scones. I don't really need so many peanut butter cookies also. If the batch is a little small, that's why. But first is oat flour and peanut butter. Two tablespoons of any liquid sweetener, I'm going to do maple syrup. So now I'm going to mix it all together, um, put it on a baking sheet, put it in the toaster oven, and once they're done, I'll take them out and taste them and see if they're good. So the peanut butter cookies are done and I'm like 99% sure these are gonna taste really good. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I'm still gonna try them. Good enough. Ooh. They're very crumbly. I just got crumbs all over the counter, but it's okay. They are good. They are just <sighs> so crumbly it turned into sand. I don't know if I would recommend these just because I feel like if you added a few extra ingredients, it wouldn't make it much harder and they would taste a little bit better. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comments if you've tried out any of these three ingredient recipes or if you want to try any of these three ingredient recipes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.